Well, I'm glad to see Inter Milan's new signings have hit the ground running. Look at that. Adeyemi, two goals in his debut up against Lazio. Brilliant. Hit and form just in time to be playing up against us. Yes, hello, welcome on in to Living Name Sports here for another episode of Glory Hunter. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button for more daily football manager content. And if you miss our last episode, go and check it out. We played against AC Milan and we also kind of gave a little bit of an update and a, a, a whole kind of roundup of all the transfers we've done in the January window. Not a, a transfer special, but a transfer roundup. So go and check it out. Today, we play up against Inter Milan in the fourth round of the Italian Cup and then we have a tough league game against second place Juventus. As I mentioned in the intro, the new signing Adeyemi, who we tried to sign for Roma, instead he went to Inter Milan and he scored two goals in his last game that he played there. So hopefully he doesn't do the same against us today. But I have a feeling it's going to be a tough one. This is obviously the hardest game we could really have drawn in the Italian Cup, isn't it? Up against Inter, away from home. Inter being top of the league in Serie A. I mean, it, you couldn't get much tougher than this. But these are the 11 men who'll be out there to begin with to see if uh, if they can do something today. Patricio's going to play in goal. Zagadu, Gijo and Romagnoli at the back. The three of them together have formed a really good partnership. Can you have a partnership with more than two? Is that how it works? I don't know. But certainly a great partnership between the three of them and hopefully that continues today. Audrey Zola on the right-hand side. Christensen on the left. Veritu and Camavinga, again, a good partnership in midfield. It's slightly different up front compared to the last game. Zaniolo is going to go back to his right-hand side and we're going to start Coutinho for Coutinho's first start after he arrived here on loan. He's going to play on the left and Tammy Abraham is going to lead the line. Abraham struggled the last couple of games. Hopefully he can play a little bit better today. So we were in this stadium, obviously, just a week ago. In the last episode, we played against AC Milan here, and we won 2-1. So let's see if we can do something similar against their Milan rivals. Quarter final of the Italian Cup, the Coppa Italia, is one of the competitions we need to win for our glory hunter. Let's see if we can win it this year. And to do that, we're going to have to be Inter today. In the first 20 minutes, haven't had a highlight, and it's been fairly boring according to the match stats. The first highlight of the game here comes in the 42nd, 43rd minute. We've got the ball, Gijo and Zaga doing very two and Camavinga. The ball was switched, but it was intercepted. There's a chance to break away. Lautaro Martinez with it. Hits it from a long way out. Saved by Patricio. It looks like we're going to reach half time. That's the only highlight in the first half. Nil, nil. I mean, I don't know if it goes to replay or if it goes to extra time, but I'd probably take that after... After the way the stats looked in the top left there. Hopefully we can push on and do something better in the second half. Though We're going to change the instructions. We're going to play a little bit more. A little bit more direct. We'll play a little bit of a higher tempo as well. And see if that can affect anything in the second half. On the clock we're going to make our first changes. Coutinho not playing well. So we're going to bring on Pellegrini to play on that left hand side. Camavinga's on the yellow. So we'll bring on Cristante to play alongside Veritu in midfield. And that's the two subs we're going to make. Fresh legs in the middle. Let's see if that uh, can change things for us here. And there is a throw in. 20 minutes to go. Gijo with it now on the right hand side. He's coming very far down that, that right hand side. Zaniolo over to Cristante. Forward to Abraham. He heads it on. That was Kind of wasted, I would say. And Radu, the keeper, collects it. And will he launch it long for Inter Milan? Indeed he will. And Latara Martinez doesn't win the header. Audrey Zola's got it now. And Zaniolo. And Veritu. Forward to Audrey Zola on this right-hand side. And Zaniolo. And he just passes the ball straight to DeMarco. And Inter Milan, they've got a chance to break away now. See if they can give themselves a chance here. But Zaniolo wins it back. And Gijo drives in field with it. Gets challenged by Lautaro Martinez. And Martinez is being called over by the referee there. Lautaro Martinez appears to be running a bit, a bit like a headless chicken there. What on earth is he doing? He's been sent... No? No, there's no red card. They did a red card review, but it wasn't a red card. Okay, that was worth it. We've brought Palmer on to play for Zaniolo for the last couple of minutes here, but we're going to get to the end of the game, it looks like. There's four minutes added time to be played and we've reached the end of those four minutes now. It'd be so heartbreaking if Inter go and get a goal late on here. Duvan Zapata down the right-hand side, he crosses the ball in. Martinez heads it and it's wide of the goal. And we've played all the minutes we're meant to play here. 
And what's going to happen? We're going to extra time. That's what it says up in the left-hand side. So let's tell them, keep working hard. And don't let the effort be for nothing. Let's go and win this game. Dramatic scenes here at the San Siro as we get into extra time. And the first period, extra time's halfway through it just now. And Palmer passes the ball straight to Correa. And Inter have a chance to break away. Correa, up the middle of the field, drives, drives forward, hits it from a long way out. And Ray Patricio gathers that comfortably in the end. We're at half time and extra time. This is the sort of stage when I'm thinking... Do we bring on a penalty specialist or for, for something later on? Or do we try to go to win this game? I'm not sure. It's a corner kick for Inter. This might answer the question for us. Could you just heads it in? His first goal of the season. It's his first ever goal for Inter Milan. And what a time for them to score it. With eight minutes left in extra time here. And that answers the question for us. What we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go much more. Much more direct. Much higher tempo. We're not going to play out of defence. We're going to focus the balls down the wing. We don't need to work the ball into the box. We're going to play a little bit wider. And uh, when we've changed those instructions, we'll demand some more from the entire team. And we'll go and look to see who we can bring on. No one's played well in that attacking bit of the field at all. I'm not sure if I allowed one or two substitutions here. That's, it'd be good if I did know that, wouldn't it? Christensen will bring him off and we'll bring on Spina Zola. And can Sesco come on for Abraham? No, we're not allowed to make that substitution. So we brought on Spinazzola on the right-hand side. Sorry, the left-hand side. There's five minutes to go. Change the attacking mentality here as we come down towards the end of extra time. It's a corner kick. Veritu swings it in. Ron Magnoli heads it! And we've got ourselves a goal. His first goal of the season for Ron Magnoli. And we've pulled it back here to one all. And this could be going to penalties at this stage. Goodness me, the ball swung into the front post. Romagnoli rises up above those defenders and he heads that in. There's two minutes added time and there's a highlight. And who's going to have the highlight? Duvan Zapata gets behind Romagnoli. Zapata down the right-hand side. Will he put the ball in the middle? No, he plays it back to Dest. And Kajus, who scored that goal for Inter to put them ahead. Kajus over to Eriksen. All the way back to Skriniar now. There's just 20 seconds to go. Skriniar back to De Vrij. Forward to Eriksen and Correa and Duvan Zapata. He's through on goal and he's got them a winner. Oh, no. Last touch of the game. Duvan Zapata puts into the head and he's put them into the semi-finals of the Italian Cup. Oh, so close. I thought we'd done it. I thought we'd got ourselves to the penalty shootout. But it wasn't to be. Zapata gets himself a goal there. And we're knocked out again at the quarter-final stage. We just can't seem to get beyond this stage in this Italian Cup. Oh, that's disappointing. It really is. I thought we were going to do it. I thought we might have got ourselves a penalty shootout, but it wasn't to be. And now we have to move on to our second game of the episode. Oh, knocked out of the quarter-finals again. 2-1 in extra time. Again, it was the toughest game we could have played away to the team at the top of the table at the moment. So I suppose I can't complain. But... Oh, I thought we might have done it. We've got a game against Juventus in just a few days' time. And if we win that, we're just three points behind Juventus in the league. If we lose that, I would say there's no chance at all of the title. We'd be 14 points behind with 17 games to go. We've really got to win this to keep our title hopes alive. Right, so here we are, ready for our game up against Juventus in Serie A. As we look at the Serie A table, if we win this game, we go three points behind Juventus. And we'll be well, still... 11 points behind Inter, it's a long way behind even if we do win this. You can see we are uh, ahead of the teams below us. We've also got games in hand, so if we win that, we could have a little bit of a gap between ourselves and the teams in 4th, 5th and 6th position. Could build a little gap, guaranteed Champions League football, Champions League money. That could be useful indeed. We'll see what happens in today's game though. And this is the team we're going to go with. Patricio and go. Zagadou, Gijo and Romagnoli at the back. Lazaro going to get the game on the right and Christensen on the left. Camavinga and Veritu in midfield. Zaniolo on the right. Pellegrini on the left. And Tammy Abraham up front. He's not scored for a while, Tammy. Hopefully he can get one today. It's not often you can say a game up against Juventus is a must, must win one. But this indeed is a must win game. Front three, Kulisevsky, Chiesa and Morata is very, very dangerous. I mean, so is their midfield and their defence as well. They're a pretty good side. I'm surprised they did so poorly last year. Remember, they've got no European competition to play in this year, so it's just the Serie A they've got to concentrate on. 
That's what they have been doing this year. The ball swung in there and Tammy Abraham gets himself a goal. I was mentioning he hadn't scored for a while. He's got one there. Thank goodness. 23 minutes on the clock. It's come for this left-hand side. Christensen gets the ball back from the throw-in. Swings it into the back post. Daniel heads that. It comes off Chesney, I think. It could have been off the post or the bar, but I think Chesney saved it. And Abraham tucked that in. And we lead 1-0 up against Juventus here. A very good start. Throw in on the right-hand side for Juventus just before half-time. Pellegrini intercepts it. Camavinga, Zaniolo, Abraham. He listened to me. I said, you need to go and score more goals, son. And what does he do? He goes and scores more goals. Two goals in the first half here from Tammy Abraham. Another assist for Zaniolo. Brilliant stuff. You see well intercepted with Pellegrini there. He eventually gets challenged by Locatelli, but the ball falls to Camavinga. To Zaniolo, one-touch football to Abraham. He thrashes that in the top corner. And we are leading 2-0 here. And we're just about to reach half time. Could we make it three? Zaniolo's got the ball again. Vera two. The ball's a loose pass and Arthur intercepts it. And Bonucci plays all the way back to Chesney and goal. And De Ligt out to Alexandro. And William Carvalho and Chiesa and Maratta. And it's nice football from Juventus here. Forward toward Chiesa. Can he get a shot away? Can he score? Yes, he can. What a goal from Federico Chiesa. Surprised it's only his fifth of the season. And Juventus pull one back just before half time. And the score is 2-1. A very exciting first half indeed. I'm saying I'm happy with that so far. Go and do the same in the second half and hopefully we do. Corner kick, very two into the front post. And Gijo nearly gets himself another headed goal there, but not quite. Lazaro not having a good game on the right-hand side, so we've brought on Audrey Zola for him. And I think taking off Tammy and bringing on... Sesco could be a good idea for the last 10 minutes. I know that Tammy's on a hat-trick, but it doesn't matter... Bring Sesco on, a physical presence up top there to have a bit of a fight with the defenders. And we'll see what's going to, going to happen here. It's the last five minutes though and there's a chance for Juventus. Chiesa's through on goal again and just about is defended by us there. We're going to make some changes in the midfield. Everyone's very tired. We'll take off very two. Bring on Brian Cristante. And there's a throw in from Juventus here. Locatelli in the edge of the box. Is he going to hit this? He is indeed, but it's wide of the goal. Going to change our mentality to a defensive one. And we're going to change our instructions to uh, to time waste whenever possible for the last three minutes here. Certainly try and hold on to this 2-1 lead up against Juventus. The time is ticking down. We're wasting the time appropriately. And we've beaten Juventus 2-1 here, keeping our season alive. I don't think it's exaggerating to say that. Keeping our league season alive. We've pulled that gap to Juventus down to three points. The gap to Inter is now down down to 11 points between us and them. But there's, what, 16 games to go? There's still a chance to close that gap. Us and Juventus need to hunt down Inter Milan. And that's what we're hoping to do between now and the next episode. You'll see there's a little gap that's grown between ourselves and fourth. So it looks like it could be the top three being the top three. But hopefully Inter don't run away with this league. We'll have a few league games between now and our next episode because we're going to come back when we play in our Europa League knockout round. The first leg of that is being played at the start of March and we'll also play up against Fiorentina in that episode as well so long as nothing gets moved about. So there's a game against Cagliari, Cag uh, Cagliari Lazio and Spezia between now and then. An important game against Lazio, a derby match, obviously, but I will show you that. We'll get further forward looking at the European competition. So if you have enjoyed this episode, a dramatically lost to Inter Milan and a great win against Juventus, please do leave a like on the video. It really does help us out. I know I say it all the time, but it does. Likes, comments, it's, it's good. It's good for the channel. It's good for the videos. And I'm really appreciative when I see them on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss an episode of this Glory Hunter Challenge. And until the next one, where we're going to be playing in our Europa League knockout rounds, we'll see you then.